welcome back so in the previous video we have created a user and we have assigned him an administrator role and we have tested whether uh, the administrator role has been performed correctly or not and finally we have deleted the assignments uh, in the previous video so I'll be keeping them in the description so that you can watch and uh, coming to this video we'll be talking about bulk imports of user so how to import bulk users so for creating one user we just go to users and uh, we try to create new user here so every time we can't do this let's say it's 100 users or 500 users so we can't uh, create 500 times so for that we have an option called bulk operations so as you can see beside there is an option called bulk operations so in this if you click here we have different options bulk create bulk invite and bulk delete so in this case we are going to create user so for that we have to use the first option as it states so click bulk create and you have an option here to download a csv file so in that csv file we have to include our details so let's click that so this is the file so you can see this is the relevant file for that and uh, coming to the row one the row one consists of version number and uh, we will not be changing anything for that and that is required here and uh, similarly with the second one as well so the headings indicate acceptable values and whether they required so you should not do any uh, additional columns so these are the fixed columns for that uh, if you add some other columns maybe there will be some errors related to that so we will be not changing the first and second row coming to the third one here we can add the users so before that let me save this file okay I don't know why it's showing this okay so I'll just leave it so let me so now let's uh, see the version and we have a username here and this is the password column this is the block sign in so these are different uh, columns that we have so let's add uh, an example name here so let's remove this and let's say let's say Raja and here let's add a domain name here which is from my email id so let me copy that and uh, so here let me paste that one and let me add Raja and I'm just keeping it default my password one two three and you can also add uh, you know the usage locations or the department name that this particular person belongs to so if you see in the H column I think we have uh, there you go the department name let's say the person belongs to sales department and the usage location so this is the usage location and uh, Usually we'll be dealing with the uh, United States, so I'm just keeping United States. Let's add uh, Ram here, and uh, similarly I'll be using the domain name. So the domain name will be Ram at this one. I'm just leaving the password same. So let and even this should be no let's say ram belongs to the developer team and i'll be keeping in the united states let's add some other uh, users as well so i have added three users so similarly, oh, one second, let me add that one to my name. the same passwords here and 
and I'm just copying the sales and I'm adding everyone the sales and here United States okay just for simplicity I'm just keeping the sales uh, as well Shit. so these people belongs to the sales department so I have included uh, everyone so I think that's the final one you can add the other one as well the street uh, address and so on if you want you can add it but uh, right now I'm limiting to this uh, columns and let me save this save as so I'm saving this uh, in my downloads or let's save it I'm just saving it in the downloads so I believe it's done so now the second stage is we have to upload it so so you can see here we have uh, an option called upload CSV let's click that and uh, add our file so it's done the only thing is we need to submit it so let's submit so it's in progress once it's done let's uh, check for the bulk operation results so you can see the bulk operation results and let's refresh that and I believe it should be done and you see there is a five success since we added five rows five users and uh, the total results are five and we have successfully uploaded it so if we go back let's check the users there you go so we have included all the users here using uh, our bulk importments so and one more thing is we can verify the users with the powershell as well so if you talk about powershell you have an option here right you can see there is a cloud shell uh, beside uh, on the right hand side of uh, search bar so you have to click that and initially if you have not mounted your storage then you have to do, ta uh, do that once you have done there is two options here partial and batch so based on the command you have to select uh, the command so since we are dealing with the partial I'll go and get with the partial if you're dealing with the batch then you have to go with the batch so let me copy that command and uh, let me paste that so let's call that now let's add our command there you go so you can see the all the users uh, of our uh, Azure portal the active directory so this is how you can verify it and uh, coming to the next lab we'll be using the PowerShell and uh, we'll try to add the users using the PowerShell so coming to this video I hope you guys have understood the concept of uh, today's video and I'll be keeping the relevant videos in the description do watch them and if you like the video please click the like button below and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video thank you everyone